What is up, YouTube? Loki here, and we're back again. Another exciting episode of my modded Skyrim. I uh, believe this will be episode 7. Can't believe it's already been 7 episodes. And thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, if you're here, make sure you press the like button, press the subscribe button, and uh, leave me a comment. Let's get at it. We got Sophia here, and she's looking beautiful as ever, ready to go. Maybe she won't be super annoying on today's journey. We will find out. You can just look at her and tell her, tell her she's dumb, though. You're dumb. You're dumb. Okay. So, on today's things to do. Uh, we're still on this one quest. We have to travel all the way back to Dawnguard. Like, oh my goodness. It's so far away. Uh, did we go this way and down? Should we try to cut across? Maybe stop by Whiterun along the journey somehow. We'll make it more interesting. I definitely, like I said in the last episode, I definitely want to go through Dragon's Bridge. And that's right here. So let's set a marker. Dragon Bridge is located there. That's the direction that I would like to travel. Let's hop on the horse and get to it. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down on my speakers. We don't need my game volume uh, featured in this episode. It would make a really terrible... Uh, echo sound for you guys. I don't feel like wearing my headset, so the up the uh, way we do that is just, I just turn down my game volume so that way my microphone doesn't pick it up. And we're just going to go over the mountain just like that. <laughs> That's the best way to go. We can follow this road for a little while and see what there is to see at the end here. It's a beautiful day in Skyrim. Look at, look at this clear blue skies. Up and some clouds up here in the mountains. Very neat. Grab some Nern root. Grab some more Nern root. Watch out for the crabs. Some jumpy stutteriness go on. It's really weird. It could be because I'm uploading at the moment. Quite possibly, that's what, that's what the, the dropping the frames is all about. Let's go in here. It looks, looks like a Forsworn camp. This could be fun. Thank you, Sophia. What do you got on you, sir? Nothing good. Yeah, we're losing some frames, but I think I can deal with it right now. Just because I'm uploading um, think of episode else, they usually think of six trees, right now. Not I'm a little too embarrassed to say what comes okay. to mind. Oh, goodness. I ran into him with my shield and knocked him down. What is this? Ruka's deep. Bruca's Leap Redoubt. Whatever that means. You didn't have anything on you, did you? No. Sophia, I thought you were Forsworn. I swear. I swear. Not much here. Horses are over here. Well, my horses. I don't know where hers went off to. Oh, it's out in the water. Way over there. Let's see how she gets to it. There's something up there in the mountains. Yeah, I wonder how she gets to her horse. 
magically, apparently. I think we're going to go through the water here. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm just turned around, that's all. I actually do need to go back through that way. What is this red dot? Oh, it's, it's a crab. Okay. What, what is the enemy my compass is, is showing me? So if I were to actually just go through here. And just keep going in a straight line from this way. There we go. It's much easier. For some reason I still have the game music playing. I don't know what what bug that is where the music just won't go away. You can see Dragon's Bridge from here. How do we get over there to it? I'm not gonna go that way. Maybe up and around? Possibly. Lots of cool interesting things to explore in this area, so why not? I believe we can go through here. A wolf cave here. Nice. Got a saber cat here. Sophia has to dismount in order to attack. And her horse just goes right into battle with her. You get that saber cat, Sophia. You get him. Awesome. Um, this doesn't look like much. Some more wolves ahead. Got him. You could have stayed on your horse, dude. I, I, I got that. And here's Dragon Bridge. <clears throat> it's a sleepy little town. Dragon Bridge is. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Don't know much about this town, honestly. Not too much at all, for real. Like they have the same horses we do. Oh, we stop in and say hi. This looks like their like main Yarl's building. Antius Oculatus Outpost. Oh, so this is gonna be okay. I see. I saw the Dragonborn symbol. That's that means the Empire is here. Or Shields Cavern. Tavern. Looks like it says cavern. It totally says tavern though. Let me guard are you. Half finger. Okay. Cute little town. There's our trader. Old bridge goods. Kind of like it. And so this is the inn. They have a nice little outdoor seating, eating area. Very neat. Hey, Hootsie. 
Not usable or Can you hireable. Believe I made money by urinating in a bottle and calling it potion of youth. Oh, I had to stop though when I got chased out of town by the shop owner. Oh my goodness. What am I? What's this weird jumping animation I keep doing? No idea. This is not my horse. I'm looking for my horse. <laughs> Thought I'd have a look around town. Seem to have lost my horse in the process. There they are. Found a horse at Sophia. Man chopping wood. Okay. Cool little town this is. Now it's time to actually cross the Dragon Bridge. Can I help you? Here it is. Very cool indeed. Same thing on the other side. Okay, next on our journey. So we stop through Morthal? Perhaps be the best way to go. Uh, it's a little out of the way, to be perfectly honest, but we can go through Morthal and then we can come through this uh, mountain pass right here and on down. Let's do that. Just, just for um, explorative reasons. Exploration. Oh no, wait, let's set the marker on the map and go this way. Close enough. Let's <laughs> so notice that general direction. Turn left here. Oh wait. Those some standing stones over there? We have to go check that out. Cross this bridge. Those look like a set of standing stones. Some sort of, that is a big castle. No, that's definitely solitude. Okay. What is this? Probably. Just some stones in a field. Okay. Waste of time. Back on the road. Like we have a mage here. Oh, you're a Khajiit mage. That's not what I wanted to do, horse. Stop. I actually wanted to come over here next to this mage and press the space bar. And that brings up... It should bring up this right here. Make the liar! The last man who said women belong in the kitchen My should go back to that knitting. Soon at his words when I punched him into oblivion. I think he must have been eating soup for quite a while after that. And I bet it wasn't Let's talk to Mike the liar if we can get Sophia to shut up. It's no fault. Why worry where it goes? My thinks the snowflakes are pretty. Skyrim was once the land of many butterflies. Now, not so much. I wonder if everything he says is a lie. Much snow in Skyrim. Enough snow. Mike does not want any more. That's not a lie. There's a lot of snow in Skyrim. Mike is tired now. Go bother somebody else. That's not a lie. You're not tired. Mike is done talking. No, you're not. Mike is done talking. I can do this all day. Mike is done talking. You can do this all day. Mike is done. Stop lying. 
Let's not do this all day, though. Goodbye, Mike. Let's keep riding through the woods. Seems to be a dog here. I wonder if this is a random dog or if this is not a random dog. Either way, he ran away. Okay then. We like to do a lot of traveling in Skyrim. That is most of this game, I do believe. You're not traveling, you're going through a dungeon somewhere, that's for sure. Let's go inside and pull some stuff. Oh, skeletons. Nice. Death bell. Got it. Yes, die, bitch. What do you got on you? Page your heart? Yes, love it. Okay, cool. Oh. Nice. What do you got on you? You got a Deja Heart also? Nope. No berries. Let's take a potion. Uh, minor healing. So I take two of those. That's that's enough. Oh, what, what was that? No. What else we got? Anybody else want to die today? You want to die? You want to die? You want to die? Okay, anybody else want to die? Skeleton up there. How do I get to him? How do I make him die? This way. <clears throat> oh, she got him. Threw a fireball at him. I forget that she's a magic wielder sometimes. Kind of cool. Anything interesting that I don't have to go inside for? Like, how do I get up there? I want to go up there. I'd have to go in there, huh? Okay, looks like we've explored everything on the outside here. Nothing over there. Nothing. And now we just made a big circle. There's something there. Oh, which is a dead skeleton. Okay. Here's my horse. I'll just hop down here. Okay. Cool. They're on the outside of the uh, fort here. Build some necromancers. I'm not going to bother looting them all. Um. Where's the exit? <laughs> horse seems to have found his way in here. I cannot find a way out. Maybe it's just as simple as this. <laughs> and then finding the road again. It seems to be getting dark. Uh, it's 7.30 p.m. Might have to set up a camp somewhere. 
assuming we can find the route. There's the route. Okay. So we were traveling this way. Yes, we were. Okay, so... Should we go to Morthal? I think we should. I think we should, just because it's... It's almost nighttime, and, you know, it's... Beats camping. <laughs> That's for sure. We'll ride hard to get to Morthal before dark. Is there a road that goes there? Yes, there is. Okay. Appreciate you guys for watching my episode. Um, we're gonna keep going, and uh, I hope I hope you uh, stick around for the whole series. Be nice to hear from you. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. What mods do you play with? Do you do you play Skyrim with mods, or do you play a Skyrim vanilla? How do you prefer your Skyrim? Are there any other games that you enjoy playing? Oh, wait a minute. Looks like the gate to Mortal seems to be closed. Hmm. Can I open it? Yes, I can. There we are. What's the yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. More than what's happening. Enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. Do you, do you know? No? Okay. We need to find an inn. It is cold. Um, it's snowing. That's blacksmith. This is going to be the Jarl's guardhouse. Uh, that's a house. That's a house. We're going the wrong way. I love how each of these towns has its own little feel to it. This looks like a potion's place. Closed for the moment. This looks like it could be an inn. Yep. We're still only level 6. Oh my gosh, we have so far to go. Well, we're, this is episode six or seven, I don't know. That's <laughs> about one, about one episode per level so far. Let's go ahead and rent a room in this red guard woman here. Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be right. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay. I'll show you to your room. I oh guess it's that one. It's always that one. And these, uh, you know what rhymes with ends Morthal? Look like this. Awful. Which is exactly what this place is. Oh, it's nice. Who would want to live in a swamp anyway? Yeah. Let's see. Thank you. Anything in here we can take or do? That's a negative. Maybe we can find something to eat. Who's serving drinks around here? Are you? Have you met the bard that plays here? He's got a voice like broken glass and fingers like the knob of a carrot. Sometimes okay. he ventures outside, and when he plays, the animals in the marsh will start screaming. All right then, who is this bard? His name's Lurbuck. 
and he's by far the worst bard in all of Skyrim. But the old orca sort of grows on you. In time, everyone will learn to appreciate him. Sounds like, like you I don't do. appreciate him at all. Um. What do we got for sale? What do you need? That's uh, something to eat and drink. Um. You only have the one Alto wine? There we go. Let's have some Nord mead. And I will take. Um, sounds good. I'll take this honey nut treat. I'll take both of these and I'll get this cooked catfish. And a baked potato for well, well. Sophia. All right. Hungry? Thirsty? What's on your mind? Fine, but don't take advantage of me. At least not in that way. It's trying to give me some food, that's all. You can have the baked potatoes and the catfish and a Nordmead. I will take the two honey nut treats. I'm really not all. So okay. Let's not hang around then. That's exactly what we plan on doing, Sophia. Oh. Come in here. My food by myself. Away Look from alive, ignorance. <laughs> Eat, eat, drink. You no, know, I might just have a some potato and butter together, and yeah, yeah. There we go. Keep your dress some on. good meal. Very good. Hurry up an order! I ain't got all day. I did. Goodbye. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> Okay. Should we call it a day? Here? Okay, she's having her meal. You go ahead and finish. That's cool. Lure book. Let's see how good you are. A new face. Such a welcome sight in dreary old Morthal. Welcome, friend. Welcome. I can see what he does around here, but I guess that's what we have to ask him. I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. All right, then. Don't fret over the gloom. There's nothing to fear. Old Lorebook will brighten your spirits. Just... Sounds fine to me. Don't know what uh, she has against him. You want something to drink? I think the townsfolk would probably disagree with you about Lurbuk. Oh, I know most folks like their bards to have melodic voices, but none of those sausage drinkers are fit to wear Lurbuk's tunic. Them fancy singers ain't what a real bard sounds like. A bard like Lurbuk sweats poetry and makes you shed rocks for tears. I remember when that old barnacle breath sung a song about a storm. His voice was hard and cruel, just like the sea of ghosts. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I might take that as a compliment, coming from a cotton mouth cheese muncher like you. So now I'm a cotton mouth cheese muncher. I've also been called a milk drinker. Salty, though. Aye. Name's Ingarte, and I got salt in me bones and fire in me breath. For ain't no comely lass fit to handle the saw that come through an inn. In here, we get bandits, pirates, adventurers, and soldiers. Lads and lasses with true grit. Not the college and town folk you get up west. I mean, you're not wrong. At least, we used to. Okay. Have you heard any bards besides Lurbrook, though? I have. I may be a tavern wench, but I haven't always been this tavern's wench. You've got a bosom, and you can pour a flag, and you can find work just about anywhere. If you got a bosom. <laughs> I ain't even from Skyrim. I'm from the docks of Anvil, the Gold Coast. My dad thinks I'm here to find me roots. 
be a proper nord and trade my broom for a sword. When all I really wanted was to get away from him. Why is that? He didn't beat me or nothing like that. Must rather wish he did. Would have made hating him all the more easier. No, the old goat just thinks he's some kind of honorary stormcloak the way he goes on about the Nords being the master race. Of course he didn't fight in the Great War, but you wouldn't know it by listening to him talk about it. Okay. Ah, uh, your father sounds like a great man. So people tell me. Oops. But it's easy to stand up for Talos when the enemy don't care what you stand for. Yeah. So do the Nords treat you like a local? Maybe now they do. They ain't exactly one of them, though. Sometimes I'll call a Falmer a goblin. Or a skeever a cave rat. Sometimes I'll complain about the cold or, or boast about how ginseng can cure anything. You know, you're then not wrong. They look at me the sideways like I just got off the boat from Morrowind. I've always said I got half of my mother, half of my father, and half of the coast in me. <laughs> and I've seen enough of this here country to know which is the better half. All right, well, that's all I've got to ask well, you. Well, then off with you. I got cups to shine. I bet you're just gonna stand there. Yep. Uh, Sophia, I'm off to bed. You can come in there if you want, or you can crash out here by the fire. It's up to you. All right. Good night. Let's give him a solid eight hours and sleep. Okay, good morning in Morthal. Well rested, bed was nice and comfy. So you slept out there? Very nice, and I see not really anybody has moved at all. What time is it? 7 a.m. I like how we have digital clocks in Skyrim. You know exactly what time it is, no matter where you are. Um, are is, is nobody gonna get that? <laughs> cool, I'll get it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it won't annoy anybody anymore. So I want to get all the death bell around here. There seems to be plenty of death bill to go around. Maybe we can stop off and make some potions with this death bill. But it is everywhere in Morthal. Let's hop it, hop it here. Hop it, hop it here. Got some snowberries. These things, these things. Let's harvest everything here. Good morning, guard. Don't mind me, I'm just collecting some things around town. Oh, nobody minds. It's very swampy. Here in Morthal, that's for sure. Okay. Interesting. Some snowberries. Where was that shop at? Saw it last night. This one. It should be open now. Not yet. I guess I'll be open here in a minute. Or waiting on that. Um, let's go through our ingredients and see if we need to eat anything. 
Oh. This would be um, lovely, just lovely. Here it goes. Oh, I couldn't have been good at all. Okay, I'm going to eat a bunch of weird stuff. Get some of that moon sugar. Uh, did we eat? I don't mean food. Where is it? You no, know we have skooma somewhere. And potions, maybe? Yes, the skooma's in here. Guess we're for the uh, stamina. Um, what time is this going to be open? Just, uh, come on. I'll wait an hour. Give it one hour. Oh, come on. Now it is. Okay. My gosh. How <laughs> many times do I have to go back and forth? Okay. Oh, do come Side. in. I hope I have what you need. It's about time you're open, dude. Oh, I wish I could have all these ingredients. Alright. What can we make? Much. we can make let's go sell the potions we just made if you need any alchemy supplies I'll do my best ah, yeah. so you're an alchemist then I mean I you know dabble here and there but only just so I can sell them back to you Honestly. Mogo's mead oh I'm well, gonna keep this sell that sell all five of these sell the weakness of fire Sell the resist fire. Um, keep the skooma. Sell these poisons. Everything else looks good. Any food I can? So Gosh, I hate that. In my you click on something and it leaves the menu. Anybody else ever had that issue? Sell these two potatoes. That's all. Mm. Okay. How much money do we have? 1700. All right. Oh, I hope that wasn't valuable. Actually, what do I care? Yeah, what do you care? What else is there to do in this town? Hey, a person. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. York. Is, that, is that the boy that was running around? What's wrong with him? My brother is sensitive. He has trouble focusing him. his attention on things. We were taking him to the temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun, just so the healers could make sure he was in good health. And they say he's fine. Are you heading to Whiterun? Could you take this letter to the priestess, Danica Pure Spring? It's a note about York's health. Yeah, I'm actually headed that way uh, at some point. Yeah. Thank you. I am going to actually set that as a quest. Is that York? Maybe I can catch him and talk to him. Where's he at? Oh, here he is. Hello. I get lost sometimes. I'm not sure where I go, but I'm not. I'm not here. Okay. Gorm thinks I'm mad. He doesn't say it, but I know he thinks it. Is he right? Yes. He very much is. <laughs> uh, who else is 
in this town to talk to. I don't see a whole lot of people besides guards. There's this person. Hello. I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. Best, huh? You want me to prove it? I bet a hundred gold I can take you barehanded. I don't want to accidentally hurt him. Okay. Just your own two hands. Weapons and magic are out. Now let's see what you've got. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. Okay. I'll fix you good. That's your best. Okay. Just keep spamming the button. Is that really just how we do this? We're getting awfully bloody here. I win. Thank. You're just going to stand there and take it. Fight back. Now that was a punch. That was a lot of punches. I think I've earned that hundred gold. You're a real fighter. I like that. You gave you me two hundred. Steel by your side. You gave you me two hundred. Cool. What else is there to do? Maybe somebody else wants to fight. I'll whoop their asses too. There's another blacksmith. Greetings. Hello. Are you the local blacksmith? Yes, sirrah. I own the curved sword. I know it doesn't look like much, but in time it will be the finest specialty shop in all of Skyrim. Curved swords. They use those in Hammerfell, right? Right you are, sirrah. They're the pride of Hammerfell, but I assure you we don't make them as an affectation. Curving the blade is ideal for slashing, while at the same time concentrating the pressure of the edge on a specific area. The edge cuts clean, but with less resistance, and won't get stuck in your opponent like an axe or a straight edge blade. Trust me, that is not a pretty sight if you're fighting on horseback. Okay. Uh, okay then. Until next time. Yep, I'm good. I don't need him to teach me anything. I don't want his curved blade. Good old fashioned straight sword is to me. I like them straight. Um, I just like this town. It's the uh, capital of this hold. kind of want to get the most of it while I'm here, you know what I mean? I know. Hello, friend. What are you, yeah, what are you doing in this town? Oh, well, you know, a bit of this, a bit of that. Apparently they I haven't made a follower me a guard, too, even though I've been asking. So I'll take odd jobs, anything that comes along for now. Okay, see? I, I do not follow me, but I don't, want, I don't want him to follow me. Another child. My mother and father died years ago. Valiant takes care of me now. Valiant, huh? Hey, you're out here. Make it quick. Where's the word around town? One of the guards came in the other day, took off his helmet, shoulda kept it on. Had lice in his hair as big as mud crabs. Holy crap. Anything else? Some lasses were in here talking about how they'd love to bed a man like Ulfric. Oh, sounds great. But what if he talks in his sleep? So what if he does? Some big red guard off came by here the other day asking for a bowl of orca stew. I told him we don't serve no cannibals here. Ah, uh -huh, that's funny. All right then. <laughs> I want to know what the deal is with this burned down house. It's so weird. Does anybody know anything about this burned down house?
I asked Valian if someday I could learn from the mages in Winterhold. But he doesn't like that idea. Okay. Is Valian and where do I find him? Not there. Um Avro's house. High Moon Hall, let's check this out. This could be interesting. Dum dum dum. Yep. Who are you? Assulfur. Assul. Never mind. Jarl Ingrad Ravencrone. Ravencrone. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. So, I noticed there's like this burned down house at the, at the top of the hill. What, what's the deal with that? What happened to it? Rogart's house? He lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Rogar say happened? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. With his own wife and child inside? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No, but you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Sounds good. Hey, uh, that's more Rogar's than I was expecting to find. Let's do this quest and turn those two off. Cool. Let's do that while we're here. That sounds fun. Okay. So I'm gonna go back up to the house. Have a look around. Let's go in here. Oh, hello. It's a ghost. Um I Who's there? Is that you, father? Uh, who are you? Helgi. The father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? Um No, I'm a friend. What happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime now. Oh. The other one is playing too, and she can't come out until then. The other one? What do you mean, the other one? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Okay, so we have to wait till dark. Um, well. Well, dark is a ways off. It's still noon. Um, maybe we could hang out in Morthal until then, perhaps? Yeah, we could probably find something to do around here. Owner's house. Um. Who was the father? What was his name? Maybe we can find him in the inn. Since his house is burned down, maybe he's in here. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean bug around here somewhere. Wolf the Watcher. You mean like, um, The Witcher? Are you the witcher, sir? <laughs> what was that? Sorry, I'm just uh What are you doing that for? Put that right back. There we go. He's not in here. 
Oh. Where would it be? Hmm. Who in the right mind would think to set up a town in a swamp that is in the middle of nowhere? The people here are a bit strange, though. Yeah. Let's talk to this guy see what his deal is. What do you need? Is there a story behind that burned down house? It's bad luck to talk about that place. Jarl's been looking for someone who ain't superstitious, though. Be looking for a fool, if you ask me. That's it? That's it? I mean, I guess I'm the fool then, because here I am. Good day. Alright, bye. Er, okay. Maybe we can talk to this lady. Please don't mind Yorick. Oh. He's not mad. Really, he's not. Um, there's a blacksmith shop here. What's your name? Avros. Hi. Yeah, he just sells things. Alright then. Can't take any of these weapons. That's the guardhouse. He's chasing her brother around. Okay. Alva. I guess there really isn't too much to do in this town. Interesting. Okay, well. I guess I we'll call it a day here. Quite, but I've seen things. Um... And when we come back, um, it'll be nighttime. Let's do that. Sophia, you're in the way. There we go. So, uh, if you made it this far into the episode, please let me know by leaving a comment. Um, also, press a like button, and that'll help me out tremendously. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And you can come back and see us in the next episode. And I hope to see you there. Um, I appreciate all of you for, for watching, and you guys stay warm, stay safe, and stay fed. Have a great day. Bye.